some in the time in the table though. Oh my boy! Sweetheart, that's your baby. Look your foot up for me. My boy! I'm about to I'm pushing the oh, ball down. Later. It's coming. Nope, nope. Baby's head is Wait, sitting right here, okay? I cannot. Yes. I cannot. Yes. I have yes. to stop. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nigga now, mm, and welcome back to my channel. Today, 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 today is the day we've been waiting for. Today is the day that I finally get to meet my baby son. I don't know if it was the cast, I, I believe it was the cast or, but last night, mm -mm, I was having some different type of pains. So, I kept waking up in the middle of the night so, I just got up. I couldn't take it no more. It was hurting, like, really bad. So, I just got up and came to the doctors. They told me I was two centimeters dilated. So, they was going to admit me or whatever because today was my due date. They admitted me. They checked me again. And I was still two centimeters. So, she put the, um... She, she gave me three things that I could do to help dilate me. So I just picked the balloon because I felt like that was the m most effective one that she was talking about. Because the other two things, she basically made it seem like they was medicines to soften your cervix. But the balloon actually seemed like it, it make you dilate. Because she said she put it in, inflated, and it like... It's supposed to like bust your sack or something. I don't know, bitch. I just picked the balloon, so <sighs> they gave me some medicine in my IV. I didn't want to get the epidural yet. Like, if they get too crazy, like the pain, I will get it. I'm not against it, but like right now, first of all, I don't. This balloon gotta stay in my sist in my body for 12 hours. I don't want to get the epidural so early, and then by the time it's time to push or whatever or by the time it really get bad it's weighing off or it, it barely is in my system anymore so I just told myself I'm going to give myself time I'm going to get the medicine that they have like the, the regular medicine in my IV and if it come to it I'll get the um, epidural I'm not against it but yeah y'all so they put the balloon in that shit hurt it like fuck but i did it i got it put in and i went to sleep because i was up all freaking night i came here like three o'clock in the morning i laid down at like 12 or 1 something kept waking up going back to sleep waking up going back to sleep so i never really got any sleep so after they put the balloon in i got me some rest but now i just woke up not too long ago i put a food order in i got chicken tenders a caesar salad and coke i wasn't supposed to be eating for solid food but my nurse hooked me up because i told her i didn't eat since yesterday around like 7 p.m like i'm starving i need to eat <laughs> I'm not eating no motherfucking jello or soup. No. So when I woke up, they had pancakes and shit in here. I was about to eat them, even though I don't even eat pancakes. But she said, oh, that was... I looked at the ticket. That wasn't for me. I kind of knew it wasn't for me. I guess it was for the person who was in here before me, but they left or whatever. So the girl came and took that back, and she took my order, so... Now I'm waiting for my food, y'all. I've been here since 3 a.m. I'm two centimeters dilated. I got the balloon in. Now we just waiting. My contractions, they like, they hurt, but they not like every, they probably like every 30, 35, 40 minutes or whatever. Anybody who had a baby or was witness somebody having a baby, y'all know. They put these things on you. They put, um, 
this machine on you to monitor the baby heart rate or whatever. Ooh, I feel like a traction coming. So that's that noise that y'all hear. That's his heartbeat. I'm having a contraction, y'all. <clears throat> I just breathe and just wait for it to stop. But I'll be back when my food get here, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias. And yeah. They gave me some medicine. That's probably why I like seem high, I guess. <laughs> or like, I don't know. But they gave me some medicine. And they told me the side effects was making me feel high. So... I don't really feel hot or I just feel sleepy. But I ain't back when the food come here. I'm talking too much. Hey y'all, so my food finally came. I just wanted to come back and show y'all. I got chicken tenders with a chicken Caesar salad, which they forgot my dressing. So I gotta tell them they forgot the dressing. Also, they gave me some Coke, but they put it in these. I don't understand why. And then she gave me a Sprite. And I asked her for a cup of ice. Oh, and she gave me some of these, some of these chips. I'm gonna eat this food. I'm so hungry, y'all don't even understand. I ain't eat since yesterday. I'm mad I can't eat my salad until I get some dressing. And then it seemed like she not gonna come back no time soon. I gotta stay out. They cold as fuck. So, I think I already told y'all, I'm waiting for the balloon to come out. Hopefully, I'll be like five, six centimeters dilated. I'll be going to go from there. Most likely, I have to get the Potosa. I'm not really sure. But, he probably be here today or tomorrow. Tonight or tomorrow. I'm about to just eat and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll be back to update y'all if anything new happens or whenever they take this damn balloon out or when it come out. So I talk for you on the fear. Wish me a safe and speedy recovery, y'all, because the pain I've been feeling already, if it get any worse than this, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it. I fuck around and have to get that epidural. So let's pray for me, y'all. But I'll talk to y'all in the film. Hey, y'all. So I'm back. Came back to tell y'all that they gave me some Pitocin, bitch. Pitocin. So that's gonna make the contractions stronger and closer together to help me dilate faster, I guess. And she also gave me some more of the medicine in my IV to help with the pain, cause I still am not trying to get epidural. So we gonna see 
That mask is sleeping me. It's making me sleepy, y'all. So let me go to sleep. But <laughs> yeah, she just gave me pitocin, so I'm getting induced officially. The balloon Ben was induced me, but now that is like all right. So, my bad, y'all. I'm looking like a junkie. I'll be back later when something else happens. Hey, y'all. So, it is 17.41, which is 5.41. They said I had till 8 o'clock for the balloon to come out. Or they was going to take it out. But I was just using the bathroom and it came out. So they about to come in here and check me. But I just wanted to come and show y'all what I've been doing. I've been on this ball right here. I'm going to show y'all how I've been. i just been like jumping up and down on there. Not jumping, but like, you know, up and down. I'm going to show y'all. Hold up. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to talk over this beeping because my nurse ain't coming back no time soon. But... I've been using this birthing ball, just bouncing like this. I was watching YouTube videos. They said don't spread your feet too wide. Like right here is good. So I've just been bouncing, bringing it around town. And ever since I got on this ball, my contractions been coming like more close together. So I definitely recommend using this ball. But, um,. If y'all hear that thumping sound, that's my baby heartbeat on the monitor thing. Because they got monitoring. But yeah, y'all, that's what I've been doing. The Foley balloon they put in came out just now. So they about to come in here and check me in a few minutes. So I'm about to just bounce on this ball and wait for them to come. And I'm going to let y'all know what's going on. Hopefully, I'm dilated enough. If not, they gonna come up with a plan. But I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on. It's the pressure. Yep, it's the baby. Okay, lower your legs, okay? Break your bar. Okay, so they gonna do a little bit of pressure. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. You're not gonna get the benefit of that from Okay, your baby's head is right here. You're gonna have a baby. <laughs> Take 
and deep breath. You gotta take a breath and push. Bear down, like you have to have a bowel movement and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You got this. Sweetheart, don't lose it. You got this. I know. It's your baby's head. Thank you. 
Contraction? Go ahead. She's pushing. And push. Get mad. Get mad. Four. Good. Good. No. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice deep breath. And push. You got your foot on my shoulder. Don't push me over. Three. Come on. Four. back. There you go. Eight, Good job. Nine, don't, don't, don't. Nine, don't, 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 don talk to y'all let me get his bottle together this baby just took a big shit he shit it out chocolate that's what it looked like <laughs> the next day i couldn't update y'all yesterday because I, I i had a lot going on like as y'all could see but y'all as y'all could see i went through a lot yesterday but i finally had him at 8 40 he came out I'm going to do a whole story time telling y'all my my birthing experience and like how I felt and all that stuff. Because this is really just a labor delivery vlog or whatever. So, I don't want to really get too much into it because then when I, put, when I make the video, the story time is going to be like repetitive. So, I don't want to really get into, get into it too much but y'all can see. Y'all can see what was going on. But he had finally came out at 8.40. And it was... It was a lot, but we did it. <laughs> we did it. That's all that matter. Everything good with him. He's perfectly healthy. Me too. Only thing is, I did... Um, I got something called hematobin. Hematobin. It's something, but basically it's when, like, blood... Like... It's like a calculation of blood under the skin. So that's what I got. And it's kind of just like swollen really on my vagina. But they said just give it time it'll go away on its own. They said I did get a little tear. A little like cut or tear or whatever. But it wasn't like crazy to get stitches. So I didn't get no stitches. I don't even think it was really a tear. Because if I tore, they would have stitched me. <laughs> Ooh, that stinky bird. That bird stink, man. That bird stinks. I don't think I really tore y'all, cause you know when you tear, you they they stitch you up. But she checked me out or whatever, made sure I didn't tear. I think it was just like a, a like a scratch or something like that. But I didn't get no stitches. I'm feeling okay. Only thing. Only thing, my back is starting to hurt because they put the epidural in, but they did it too late, so I didn't even get any benefits from it, so I shouldn't have did it, but <sighs> I just got it done just because I was in a lot of pain, like, I was in a lot of pain, like, the contractions was coming, like, every two minutes, and I knew it was almost, I knew it was time to, to push him out because... 
like it just feel like you take it feel like you gotta take a big dookie that's what it feel like when you get that when you start getting that feeling in your butt every time a contraction come that's when you know he 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 down there and it's on it's ready to be time to push so they checked me i was at eight centimeters but they wasn't i guess they wasn't ready for me to push but i was ready for me to push so i just started pushing so um they caught the midwife in there she came broke my water because my water never broke i thought it broke but it never did so she broke my water as soon as she broke my water i started pushing i pushed like four times Ooh, i hope he ain't pooping pushed like four times and he was out I make it sound easier than it was cuz oh child y'all I'm gonna tell y'all in the story time and y'all will see in this video that that shit was like kind like one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life like for real but now that it's over it was all worth it I can laugh at it now, but I was crying. I was mad. Like, I was just, it was just a lot. But I feel good. My stomach going down already. My baby healthy. So, I'm grateful. Finally got to meet my stinky man. Finally got to meet my stinky man. But, yeah, y'all. I think this gonna conclude my labor and delivery vlog. Right now I'm at mommy and baby. This is like the room they take you to, you know, for your little couple days that you gotta stay in the hospital. But yeah, y'all, this is the room where they take y'all, where they take you in for your little stay in the hospital or whatever. Cause once you had a baby, like a couple hours after, like I left out that room at like 11 o'clock. So like, and I had him at 8.40, so like an hour and a half or two after you had a baby, after they weigh him and do everything they gotta do in that room, they take you into mommy and baby, which is the room I'm in now. This room real tiny, but I've been here since last night. Just bonded with my son's son. You know, they came to this hearing test. They posed the, They say he had to use the bathroom in order to get circumcised, which he just peed on me, and he pooped. So I'm just. They said they gonna circumcise him today. So now I'm just waiting. We just waiting for the um, people to come get him and go take him to get circumcised. They gave him his hepatitis B shot. Um, his hearing tests came back good. They said they gotta do some tests. Some other tests, but other than that, everything good with him. I feel blessed and highly yeah. favored, y'all. Oh, this was a lot, but we did it. I did it. But yeah, y'all, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. Make sure you follow my baby son at Honest Amiri. I'm going to have his Instagram down below and all my social medias as well. So y'all can go follow us and do all that good stuff. And comment down below and tell me how was your um, labor and delivery experience. Was it like anything similar to mine? Like, how did it go for you? And how many hours were you in labor? I was in labor from 3 a.m. to 8.40 p.m. when I had him. So that's probably, that's like 12 and a half hours that I was in labor. But I only pushed, like, if you had a baby, you know. You only push for, like, 10, 15 minutes of that time. The whole rest of that time, you just have the contractions, waiting to dilate enough so you can start pushing. So for that whole 12 hours, that's what I was doing. They had to give me some Pitocin because they was trying to get him to come down. And I was on the um, birthing ball, you know. 
I was I also took castor oil, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I was doing everything I could do. I was walking around. So it wasn't that long. Some people be in labor for way longer than that. But we did it. We here. My back really hurt. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're pregnant, don't get epidural because you don't. I'm not going to say you don't need it, but from my experience, I did the whole process without it. And then I got it like five minutes before I started push, pushing. I got it too late. So now my back hurt for no reason. <laughs> but if you is going to get it, get it as soon as you get there. Like, just go ahead and get it because at least you could get the benefits from it. I did. So now my back just hurting like real bad. I think I'm going to call my nurse and tell her to see what they can do. Give me some medicine or something because my back really is hurting, y'all. But let me stop rambling. That's the end of this video, y'all. If y'all made it this far, I want to say I love y'all so much. Stay tuned for the rest of, well, stay tuned, period. But I'm doing a pregnancy series or whatever. Not really a series, but y'all know I'm a mother now. So I'm going to be posting mother-type mother, mother type content. So if you a mother, send this video to another mother. Tell her to subscribe. You subscribe. Send it to your mother. Tell her to subscribe. <laughs> no, but for real. But yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for more of my mom videos. And yeah, I'm out of here. I'm about to go comb his hair. And then I'm going to comb my hair because I'm going to do some TikToks. But yeah, y'all, I'm off of this thing. Bye, y'all.